So for those of you who did not want to sit through my longer winded how-to video of how I did these uh, flagpole mounts, um, here is the short, short version um, where I showed the final product, basically what it is, what I made, and uh, yeah, and you guys can watch the longer video. It'll be linked in the description uh, if you want to know more details about how I did it, how I came up with the idea. But basically, I wanted to put some flags on my truck, uh, but I wanted to be able to use the soft cover still, I didn't want to be able to uh, take up my hitch, uh, so I decided to make these flagpole mounts. These mount to the bull ring, the pop up, uh, the pop up tie down anchor. You know, these guys here, which come uh, stock. This one's kind of stuck there a little bit, but. These come stock on the Ford and, and several other trucks, but um, you can buy these uh, bull ring. You can buy those uh, and install them on, I think, almost any truck. <clears throat> but this way, I didn't have to drill anything into my truck. Um, I did not uh, have to put it in the bed, so I can still use my soft cover. Uh, and they're easily detachable and removable. Uh, and they've held up to freeway speeds. Uh, I've had these on for several days now. Held up to freeway speeds, no problem. And I've got lights to illuminate the flag at night. So it's a pretty sweet setup. So basically what I did is, uh, and I'll have links also for all the, the parts and supplies that I used uh, in the description as well. Uh, what I did is I just got some flat stock from Lowe's, um, 3 16 inch steel, uh, cut it into a one foot section, cut a hole in the center for this latch to pop up through. I got some uh, quarter inch uh, furniture pads adhered to the bottom of it. Um, just welded a little metal tab on here to hold these lights. These lights were about 15 bucks for the pair. Uh, they're water resistant, um, actually pretty waterproof. I've had the one on the front of the truck submerged under muddy water um, and uh, yeah, no problems. Um, I made these out of uh, EMT conduit. This is three quarter inch. This is one inch, slides down in there. Just put this pin, retaining pin in there to hold it. Um, I can undo the lock, the whole thing will come off, but just for ease of changing the flags out, I happen to have the luxury of uh, having this roof rack so I could bungee it just for extra support, but I've driven around with these not, not attached and uh, it holds up just fine even on the freeway. These parts here, um, these were about uh, 12 bucks for a pair. Uh, so, you know, uh, two of them per pole. So I bought two pair. Um, I slid them on there. They're one inch inner diameter, so they go over the three quarter inch uh, EMT poles very nicely. Um, what else? Locks were about 10 bucks. Lights were about 15 bucks. The one inch pole for a 10 foot section, I think, was 10 bucks. And this was like three or four bucks for a 10 foot section. Cut these into five foot poles here, uh, five foot pieces each. Um, yeah, so let me just show you real quick how easy it is to take the flag down. Uh, so I just pop this pin out. Pull the flag down. If I'm ever parking somewhere where I think I might, you know, they might get vandalized, I can pop this down, take it around, just throw it in my, throw it in my bed lock the tailgate, you know, I'm good to go. If I want to take the whole thing down, uh, that's pretty easy. Just got the key here. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Pop the lock off. Pop that off. Whole thing comes right off. And I got, uh, the wiring I put on these quick disconnects. This was about eight bucks for a set of five of these. Quick disconnects, waterproof. So I can just tuck that up under there. That simple to take it off. I could actually move it back to here if I wanted. You know, and, and uh, I would just need to make a longer extension for the cable. Could move it back to here if I wanted. Uh, you know, to put my flags at the back of the truck. But yeah, to uh, put this back on, just as simple as popping this out over there. Put the lock back on. I actually got to compress it a little bit. To 
get that through. Sorry about that, trying to do it one-handed. Put it back through my bungee. Back in place. Line up the holes. Pop the pin back through. Back on. Plug my light back in. And we're good to go. Uh, I'll do that in a minute. I'm not going to do it one-handed. But anyway, that's it. That's what I made. Uh, any questions, uh, you can see the longer video. Again, linked at the bottom. All the parts uh, linked where I got them from. Um, I did some welding. I mean, the welding is uh, its pretty crap, but it holds. Uh, I'm by no means any kind of master metal worker at all. Uh, I just dabble in this as a hobby. Uh, I bought a cheap $100 welder from Harbor Freight and um, yeah, just playing around with it. And uh, that's what I made. It works out great. Um, the flags, uh, the, the lights are wired uh, into my uh, engine bay where I've got a controller for all of my other lights. You know, the, the LEDs up on top and on the front and all that. Um, but there's many other ways you can wire these lights to a switch in the cab, however you want to do it. But uh, yeah, feel free to leave uh, comments, suggestions, uh, critiques, letters to the editor, ways to improve. You know, if you make something similar, let me know. Thanks, guys.